When is World Water Day? Are you interested to know who established World Water Day, its history and much more? I'll explain you now. Who established World Water Day? You know? No one? The UN Conference on Environment and Development. Why do you think they declared World Water Day? Since the earlier days, Humanity has always been a threat to water by overpolluting it and thus resulting in unsafe water, which led to dangerous illnesses throughout history. Over 14 lakh people died each year due to the lack of sanitized water. Around 25% of the world's population does not have access to clean water and it's going to get to 55% by 2050. In response to these concerns, the UN started observing World Water Day, which has been instrumental in raising awareness promoting sustainable water practices and inspiring water cooperation globally. This conference took place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where the United Nations first proposed it in December 2, 1992, and the process for it started. And by March 22, 1993, the proposal has been approved. Ever since that day, it has been spreading worldwide, showing the importance of water. Now, what is the theme of World Water Day this year? Water for peace. What does this mean? Now, now our countries have our own natural rivers. But there is an increased competition for water between countries and communities, making water, creating a conflict. Due to this, we are facing devastating suffrage. And this theme emphasizes on unity around water using water for peace and not conflict. Now let's learn about the objectives and structures of World Water Day. Starting with water scarcity. As more people inhabit in an area, the overall demand for water rises. But we have a few methods to increase and conserve water for our future. The second thing is water pollution. Our water bodies are polluted by plastic, waste, chemicals resulting in contaminated water. We have some ways to tackle this as well. Third is climate change. Our rivers are getting drained up and we have increased heat waves and global warming. Why this is happening? Because polluted water is affecting climate change. We can change this. If we keep our rivers clean, we can achieve a safer climate. And but we have ways and practices that are researched and followed for tackling these issues for sustained water. For this, we need to mindfully celebrate World Water Day. How do we do that? For example, we have soil moisture sensors. In our crops, whether it be any crop, rice, wheat, millets, doesn't matter. Maintaining a sustainable irrigation system is one way to limit wasting fresh water. Gallons and gallons of water go into agriculture. There are technologies where we can make adjustments within our agriculture practices and help reduce water consumption. Soil moisture sensors help you understand the water content in the soil so you can more precisely schedule a watering, creating a lower water footprint. The second thing we can do is rainwater harvesting. We can collect and store rainwater for later use, providing water for farming, cattle, and for general domestic use. It helps with water conservation. The third thing is sustainable frac breaks. For example, processing of cotton uses the most water. Tons and tons of water used in its production. Choosing fabrics which are produced using minimal water content and are good for the environment can reduce the water footprint. The fourth thing we can do is spreading awareness. All these issues can be tackled if you are making sure we are using water mindfully and efficiently. Taking steps to conserve water so in future we don't suffer water loss and water insecure. And this World Water Day, we learn as we emphasize for a prosperous future secured with water.